Hey buddies, how are you doing? So you've got this cool DIY elevator kit and I suppose you can't wait to get started. I know, I know, but give me a minute. I need to explain what the kit is about, right? With this kit, you'll build a cool elevator which will be operated with two buttons on a remote control. One will go up and the other will make it go down. The buttons will control a motor. Pressing the first button rotates the motor one way, say clockwise, and the other button will make it rotate the other way around. So the motor controls a bigger gear, you know, the gears like you have in your bicycles, those kind of gear. And the gear is connected to the rope, which pulls the elevator. So when the motor rotates, the gear rotates, the gear rotates, the rope gets pulled. The whole assembly is made out of light wood, which is like an ice cream stick. It's sturdy, but it's breakable. And I don't have any spare parts, so please use it carefully and be extra careful when you're playing around with those uh, wooden parts. Okay, so let's get started. So open your kit now and uh, remove things from it and see what you have got there. Uh, you have these wooden panels where all the components go. Um, they have ice cream sticks kind of things which you can uh, remove from the stencil. I will call it a stencil. Uh, you have these gears that remote I was talking about earlier and there is that motor. Okay, so one by one start removing those wooden things from the stencil. Uh, be careful while re while removing because uh, if they break, uh, it's gonna be a problem. Okay, uh, they, they, those are attached with by a small you know wooden attachment to the side. Um, if you rotate and remove like that, then it will be easier. So one by one, remove all the components from that stencil. I'm sure you have done this before with other things, but if not, then uh, just be extra careful and. Um, take your time you know don't hurry yeah there are a lot of them I'm speeding up the video so that you can uh, do it at your own time and pause this video and go ahead when you're done you know yep so that would be around the last of it you can see that blue or pink tab in your hand that's a sandpaper uh, there are some rough edges on your components the stencil that you removed because it was attached to the sides so using that sandpaper, sand off a few parts which have more of those ticks coming out, see, okay, like these, yeah. So yeah, you can sand them off and when you sand them, it becomes smooth. So that's what the sandpaper is about. You don't need to do all of them. Uh, whenever you come across something like that while working, you can keep sanding it. Uh, you know as you go I did not uh, see those things as a problem so you can really skip this step if you want to but as you can see I'm just polishing them a little little so that if there is something major that comes out so this is all the kit so first we are going to start with the engine room of the elevator so the engine room comes with a motor and wire and that thing so I have stripped the wire but if not then you can strip it yourself insert it from the motor's uh, contact and twist it around like that yeah so the wire gets attached don't worry if it's loose uh, just try it once or twice and you'll get it if you break the wire just take a take your nails or a scissor or something and strip the, the rubber of the wire and do it again it might be a bit difficult but uh, as you I mean this is a very important thing so Make sure that you do it yourself. A little secret, I had to do it twice myself, so it's okay. So once you're done with that, you can move ahead. The engine room contains that uh, gear assembly where there's a rod, steel rod. There's a big gear. 
you put that big gear on the rod and take it to the center yeah the absolute center needs to be where the yeah in the middle of the rod exactly those small circular things are supposed to be added on the sides of those things uh, those small things will actually hold this rope so uh, this rope you need to make one knot and put it near the big gear see how i make that knot so that you can follow along i'd rather you make the knot outside like this leave out a space for the knot for the shaft that metal thing is called the shaft like that put it there knot it uh, i know it's not going to stay it's going to come out but you will see how we are going to yep so you insert this one round thing and you press the rope between the big gear and the small thing we are going to call that small thing a cog 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 okay so that cog and the big gear will put the rope in place the two other cogs go on each side they will keep the gear in place you will see shortly yeah you so these two small components that you see those uh, wooden things those go on the side and they should be loose they should not be tight like as you, you saw how i rotated it so it will be like that so now that assembly goes on top of the yep it goes and fits there one there and the other one there make sure it is tight you'll see how i did not uh, make it tight enough and it caused a problem later on so that so now you can make sure that you're doing it right yep and those two cogs just push outside so that it almost touches those wooden things so that now that uh, big gear will not move this circular gear attached to the motor it's a bit tough and it's meant to be that way so that it does not slip the motor goes on the other side of of this engine room let's call it the engine room yeah that's where it goes and it's fastened by two or three comp uh, wooden things yeah those two and plus one this so put those out first one over there and two on the side put the motor there and fix it with that top thing so that the motor stays in place it's really snug and tight so the motor will not move but make sure that the wire thing comes a bit outside and the plastic uh, circular gear the it's also a gear kind of a gear that screw type of gear stays on top of the orange big gear okay so when you when you rotate that plastic white gear the orange gear will rotate you see how it's going yep so that's your engine room keep it on the side so now we'll make the actual elevator box where people actually stand i think it's called a cabin so put the rope on one uh, the base of the roof of the elevator box elevator cabin and and tie it to that small hourglass, hourglass kind of uh, fixture make a loop like you did before and pass it through that it's essentially to make sure that you know the rope doesn't come out of the elevator you know how the movie show that the elevator is falling down so it should not fall down because the rope should not come out yep see it's tight enough now what you need to do is make the box it's really very very simple and fun yep 
yep four sides to the box i know it remains open from two sides but this is just a model so bear with it awesome so this is the motor room plus the elevator so this is the basic assembly now we'll make the shaft where the elevator will actually slide up and down so these uh, vertical ice cream sticks kind of things will make the shaft connect as i'm showing in the video and move along it's really very simple by the way if you face any issues anywhere you can call me whatsapp me take your parents phone and ask them to give me a shout and i will be there so there are three supports to it uh, two of them will slide in the notch and the behind one one will you know give it a support from the back so that it does not uh, swing kind of so you see the notches on the side so those go on the right and left one and behind one is just for support it does not actually go any in any groove steady your hands and do it slowly there is no hurry you can pause the video if you are slightly slower than me it's fine again one more secret I did the whole thing twice so that I'm doing it perfectly when I'm showing it to you and that's the reason why things are a bit uh, easily fitting otherwise they're a bit tighter you will feel a them a bit tighter so don't worry about it and uh, fit those things into the grooves as I'm showing and make sure that it goes in properly tight tightly don't push too much again so that it does not break but just enough pressure and you know what the elevator is ready now you can see the rope is loose and we need to tighten it first so yeah so you, you need to hold the rope from one side and press the button but uh, first let's put the batteries in the remote I'm sure you know how to put the batteries in awesome so now when I press the button it rotates but I'll show you what mistake I have done it's not rotating at all the yellow gear that is because that thing was not tight enough and that's why there was a gap between the orange and the white gear now it's perfect you will see yay the orange one is rotating just hold it like this and press the button so that the wire is wound around that cog okay good now it's time to move up and down yay oh so smooth right i didn't expect it to be so smooth but it was so good when i when i it was finally done i was so happy so there are some extra components in the glue so uh, extra components i'll just show you so that you're not confused like where do they go they are just extra uh, there was some space in the stencil so we had some extras there and this glue i'm not gluing my model right now because i need to probably do it again to show you but you, what you need to do is apply glue over there so that it does not come out yeah apply it to wherever there are joints all the joints yeah and that's it you're done with your elevator and you can have fun with it show off show to your friends and learn some basics about motors gears and how they work with each other enjoy